With stock market news really taking over the mainstream media in the last few years, in combination with the advancements that we've had in technology, you now have tons of options when it comes to investing in stocks. Lots of new online brokerages have popped up in the last few years, so it can be hard to decide which one to actually choose. We've done the hard work for you today by going through these brokerages and apps and putting together a detailed list of the top players. So this video is going to go over 22 of our top picks. Within these picks, I've broken them down into six categories, if you will. So the first category is going to be big brokerages. These are going to be the vanguards of the space. Next, we're going to have international, which are brokerages that are known for having good options for people outside of the US. Then we'll have new money. These are the apps that are a little bit newer, but still good. They're mostly the ones that have popped up in the last few years. Then we're going to have crossovers, which are platforms that allow you to have the option to do self-directed investing, which means picking your own stocks and ETFs or whatever you want to invest in, or having the option to use their pre-made portfolios or different portfolio setups that they have. Fifth, we're going to have robo-advisors, which primarily just give you the option to select one of their pre-made portfolios or to have them manage it for you. Lastly, we have super beginner apps, which are going to be apps that are great for getting started if you've never invested before, but aren't really great options if you are an experienced investor or if you're going to be making longer term investments like in a retirement account. So we're going to jump into those, but first, what factors should you even consider when choosing an online broker? When you're looking to choose an online broker to use, some of the factors that you should consider among other things are trade execution, reliability, and their fees. Note that when coming up with this list of the best brokers for this year, these are the three factors that we specifically focused on. First was fees. Most online brokers have slashed their trading commissions on ETFs and stocks to almost zero, causing fees to nosedive significantly. However, sometimes they will still charge you extra fees for different features that they have. So we're going to take a look at their broker fees, their trading fees, and see how they compare. Second is broker resources. Before choosing an online broker, consider the resources and tools tools that that brokerage actually offers, such as research tools and advice. We'll also consider the quality of the stock trading apps and how quickly they can actually execute trades, etc. Third is strategy. It's going to be extremely important that you actually know what your investment strategy is before you choose an online broker. You'll want to consider how each of these platforms tailors their offers and their platform in general to different types of investors. So for example, are you a beginner? Are you experienced? Experienced? Are you doing short-term trading or long-term investments? Those are all things to think about before you get started. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this list of 22 online brokers. Let's start off with those big brokerages. First, we have TD Ameritrade. If you're starting as a beginner investor, TD Ameritrade is going to be your go-to online broker and you'll most likely find everything you need on this platform. It provides learning and guidance to investors of all abilities, especially to beginners or individuals who are ready to get their feet wet in the high-powered thinkorswim trading platform. They have tons of resources on their site and even free courses that you can take to understand how to use their platform and the basics of trading. Their thinkorswim platform is also an option that you can use once you do make a TD Ameritrade account, and this is perfect for day traders or if you just want more advanced charting. It is worth noting that Charles Schwab did acquire TD Ameritrade for an estimated $26 billion so both brokers will eventually merge if they haven't already merged by the time that you're watching this. The main reasons why we like it are the unlimited access to a plethora of articles, webcasts, videos, and other good educational resources. It allows you to trade not only stocks, but also crypto, futures, options, and bonds. And you can trade through the TD Ameritrade app, although sometimes that can be a little clunky. There's also no minimum balance for a trading account, and they have a very active trade community as well as pretty good customer support. TD Ameritrade is going to be one of the best options for beginners who are looking to learn more about stock trading, but they're also a great platform for experience.
experienced investors as well. The cost of using the platform is free, and they also have paper trading, which is essentially using a fake account on the real market to practice trading. So TD Ameritrade is a great option if you are just starting out, but do intend on continuing with your investing. This is an account that you can keep around forever. So what about their pricing? So it is free to use their platform and you can trade stocks and ETFs at no extra cost. However, if you're trading options, expect a fee of 65 cents per contract. Number two is Charles Schwab. The Charles Schwab trading platform has a tradition of helping individual investors learn how to buy and sell stocks. In 2016 to 2018, Charles Schwab ranked the highest in investor satisfaction with full service brokerage firms, and this happened three years consecutively. Here's why we like it. If a customer feels dissatisfied, Charles Schwab guarantees a refund, whether on transaction fees, related commissions or advisory programs thanks to an innovative customer service policy. They give you unlimited access to a library of research and educational materials at no extra cost. They have around the clock customer support, no minimum account fee, and a great collection of stock trading tools. Who is Charles Schwab best for? The Charles Schwab platform is designed with both beginner investors and seasoned professionals in mind. If you want to give ETF trading a try, then this brokerage might be a good option for you. And if you decide that you need extra professional help, they have professionals on standby to help just in case you need professional assistance. As far as pricing goes, you can trade stocks and ETFs with no extra fees on the Charles Schwab platform. But if you do want to trade options, you're going to be looking at a 65 cent per contract fee. Third is Fidelity. The Fidelity Investments trading platform comes across as one of the easiest online brokers to use. For beginners looking for a great trading platform, with a shallow learning curve, this is it. Or if you are a more experienced investor looking for a more established brokerage that has a user interface and a mobile app that doesn't absolutely suck, this is also it. Fidelity comes with low commissions and robust customer support, and it's simply a great trading platform for both beginners and experienced investors. Here's why we like it. Fidelity has zero fees on most services, which other online brokers charge for, and across the board, some of the lowest fees across brokerages it boasts great research tools such as sophisticated screening tools for investors planning for retirement, and it ranked top in Investors Business Daily's 2022 investor survey and polled customers currently using their services. So who is this platform best for? My personal answer for this is everyone. Of the big brokerages, this is the one that I recommend to my own friends and family when they're just getting started investing because it is one of the easiest to use and a well-established company. I don't get any kickback at all for mentioning them in this video, but if you are someone who has avoided investing because you've tried platforms like TD Ameritrade or Vanguard and you're like, this is too confusing, I don't understand what's going on, try a Fidelity account. It's a lot easier to understand what's actually happening and it's good regardless of what type of investing you're doing. So if you want to try trading or if you want to open a retirement account, they have all of that and you can kind of just keep all of your trading under them. So just my two cents, but that is the one that I honestly recommend to people. Now, what about their pricing? So like most other online brokers in the industry, Fidelity offers zero commission trades and they were actually the leading force on this when it came to these big brokerages. As soon as Robinhood and other smaller platforms announced that they were going zero commission, Fidelity was one of the first to follow. Of the big brokerages, they are usually the first to follow these trends or price changes, which is another reason that I personally like them. Number four is E-Trade. Whether you're a beginner investor or expert investor or a passive or active stock trader, the E-Trade trading platform will provide you with solid options. For example, it offers a variety of educational videos, news clips, webinars, and a massive collection of educational tools to all beginner and expert investors. Here's why we like it. E-Trade lets you access the E-Trade analysts for the latest analysis and commentary, which helps in creating a great trading strategy. They have 24 seven customer phone support and an online chat option. And E-Trade offers a range of trading tools through its flagship trading platform, Power E-Trade, which also comes in a mobile version. Who is E-Trade best for? So E-Trade is going to be a good option for anyone who's looking to trade regularly. You'll greatly benefit from the platform's professional analysis and their discount on volume options trading. As far as their pricing goes, like other online brokerages, E-Trade charges zero commissions for trading stocks and ETFs, not forgetting
shipping, they also charge a 65 cents per contract fee, similar to the other big brokerages. But if you make multiple trades, 30 or more each quarter, you'll actually receive a discounted rate of 50 cents per contract. Number five is Vanguard. Most retirement savers and buy and hold investors have a particular liking for the Vanguard trading platform, and that's because it's considered the king of low cost investing. However, Vanguard falls short of expectations. It's a basic trading platform with limited research and data, and for this reason, most active traders prefer not to use the platform despite having a zero stock trading commission. Here's why we like it. In terms of low cost funds, Vanguard takes the cake, but if you're just looking to invest in their ETFs and not in their actual funds, you don't have to have a Vanguard account to do this. You can invest in Vanguard ETFs through almost any other trading platform. You can trade ETFs, options, and stocks at a $0 commission fee, and the platform gives investors a wide selection of mutual funds. The Vanguard investment platform is going to be best for index fund and mutual fund investors, especially individuals who prefer low-cost investments. If you're a long-term investor or investing for retirement, this also is a good platform option for you. As far as pricing, again, like other platforms, Vanguard does not charge any extra fees for trading stocks. While the platform's account minimum is $0, many of the Vanguard funds that you'll look at start with a minimum of $1,000. Number six is Chase. Chase is a self-directed brokerage firm that mainly appeals to investors' DIY side. Chase offers self-directed trading. This means that instead Instead of relying on a broker to choose your investments, you just do it yourself. Using a self-directed trading platform like Chase is a great option to start investing online, especially if you are a beginner investor. And investing with this platform is especially easy if you already have a Chase credit card or bank account. Their investing interface on their website and on their mobile app is very similar to both of those. Here's why we like it. You can start investing right away with a $0 account minimum, you pay no commission fees, and your cash balance can earn interest over time. Who is this platform best for? So the Chase brokerage platform is designed for investors who are comfortable buying and selling stocks on their own. It's also best for investors who kind of want to test the trading waters before paying any commission fees. Number seven is Merrill Edge. If you're a beginner investor just looking to get started, Merrill Edge might be a good fit for you. As a full service online broker with high quality tools for trading stocks, it's particularly valuable to newer investors. The Merrill Edge trading platform actually has more than 2,000 physical locations, all tucked within the Bank of America's branches. This makes it easier for beginner investors to access advisors more easily if you are the type of person that wants to physically walk into a bank to talk to someone. Here's why we like it. Merrill Edge allows its customers unlimited access to detailed research reports on individual stocks it provides a library of educational materials that help beginner investors plan their financial future, and they do have that 24-7 around-the-clock customer support. Who is this platform best for? Whether you're a beginner or a professional investor, this trading platform will come in handy for you through its robust customer support service and a library of learning resources to help you get ahead in stock trading. As far as pricing goes, you can trade stocks and ETFs on Merrill Edge at no extra commission fee, but of course, like the other big brokerages, if you are going to be trading options, those are going to come in at 65 cents per contract. Now we'll move on to the brokerages that have a few more options for people living outside of the US. Number eight on our list, but first of these international brokerages, we have Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers is renowned for its good trade execution abilities, but it's more than that. It's also a powerful trading platform specifically designed for professional and active investors. Here Here's why we like it. It comes with a light version and charges no extra fees for trading. It's great for basic research and on-hand customer support. The trading platform has a large investment selection, and it has an easy-to-navigate customer support page with high-level functionalities. The Interactive Brokers platform is going to be best for knowledgeable investors or advanced traders. It's also a good option if you have a decent amount of knowledge on stock trading, but you're still looking to learn more. Now, Interactive Brokers has a 
little bit of a different pricing structure than the previous brokerages on this list. They have a pro plan that you can pay for and with each different type of investment, you're either going to have fixed or tiered pricing or an option between the two. On top of that, volume pricing is also available on the platform. Like other platforms, Interactive Brokers is going to charge zero commission on stock trades. The same applies to its light mobile version, which has zero commissions for trading stocks and ETFs. If you're an active trader, volume-based pricing is available on the platform with trading options attracting a 65 cents per contract fee. Number nine is TradeStation. TradeStation is a high-powered trading platform and a top pick for most active traders. It comes with a wide variety of tradable securities, including crypto. And best of all, it offers no commission fees. Here's why we like it. The platform comes with advanced stock trading tools, TradeStation is a high quality trading platform with an active trader community. There's no commission fees for trading options, ETFs, or stocks, and it's great for comprehensive research. Who is this platform best for? The TradeStation platform is going to be one of your best options if you are someone who's looking to trade both stocks and cryptocurrencies. If you're a future options and stocks trader, or if you are an advanced or pretty active stock trader, then this platform may also be a good option for you. As far as pricing goes, TradeStation cut its cost to $0 and also lowered the minimum investment to $0 after opening its doors to regular investors. The platform charges an annual inactivity fee of $50 for accounts that hardly maintain a balance or trade minimum. Number 10 is First Trade. The First Trade trading platform is among the best discount brokers in the industry. It comes with free commissions on trades, all mutual funds included, but most importantly, an account minimum of $0. This broker sticks out a mile because it charges no contract fee and has zero commission fees for mutual funds. And this combination is actually pretty rare in other traditional online brokerages. Here's why we like it. All of the platform's mutual funds have a zero dollar commission fee. They have an option to use the Chinese language. There's no contract fee on trading options. So with options, ETFs, and stocks on first trade, you're going to have a zero dollar commission. So who is this platform best for? First Trade is going to be a great option if you are an international investor, especially if you are a native Chinese speaker because they do have that option to switch the language. This platform also caters to options traders, mutual fund investors, and also beginner investors looking to learn more about trading stocks. As far as pricing goes, everyone is going to appreciate their $0 account minimum, $0 stock trading costs, and zero per contract fee for options trades. Now we'll move on to what I'm calling the new money apps. These are apps that have been developed over the last few years and have hit mainstream media or that are putting a lot of advertising dollars behind their brands to get their names out. Number 11 on our list, love them, hate them, doesn't matter, you've heard of them, Robinhood. Robinhood is a relatively newer kid on the block. This online brokerage has had a legion of fawning fans and angry haters, but regardless of which side you fall on, anyone can trade stocks on the platform for free. The Robinhood trading platform also comes with a beautifully designed mobile app, which is really what caused this app to take off. Here's why we like it. The platform allows no fee trading for crypto and options, as well as ETFs and stocks. Its mobile app has a great user interface. It has easy access to a cash management account, which allows investors to make quick transfers whenever they're trading stocks. And it allows investors to join Robinhood Gold, which is a premium service for $5 a month, and in return, you can access margin trading and research materials. Robinhood is also a great platform for buying fractional shares. It's important to note that Robinhood does not currently offer retirement accounts, but hopefully that's something that they will add in the future. Who is this platform best for? If you are a beginner investor that wants to trade stocks quickly and easily without the hassle of looking at complex charts, then this may be the platform for you. As far as pricing goes, this honestly is how Robinhood made a name for itself by offering zero fees. Number 12 is Public. The public trading platform is a community-based investing mobile app. It's simple and easy to use, 
Cruise and best of all, it's beginner friendly. While public comes with limited account types, it charges no trading commission or fees and also comes with a great pricing model, making it appealing to beginner investors looking to join a community of investors. Here's why we like it. It doesn't require a minimum account deposit to get started and it's also commission free. You can use the public trading platform without the need for PFOF, which is something that Robinhood has made the news for multiple times. Their mobile app gives you the option to make your trading portfolio public to other investors, creating a social media element where you browse other users' portfolios. Investors can also buy fractional shares with ease, and the platform allows cryptocurrencies, ETFs, and stock trades. Who is public best for? This trading platform is best for beginner investors who want to share their investing ideas and questions with other people in a community-based environment. If you enjoy following and connecting with other investors or with professionals in the community, then public may be a good option because of this social media element that they do have on their app. As far as pricing goes, Public's mobile app is completely free and they offer zero commissions on trading stocks and ETFs. You also don't pay any fees to open or close your public account, there are no account maintenance fees, and there are no account minimums. Number 13 is Weeble. So you may have remembered hearing Weeble's name a ton when they were doing influencer marketing, but the brand has kind of died down a little bit. When it comes down to these newer apps, a lot of people were just looking for the easiest and most simple interfaces to trade stocks, but Weeble is a platform that actually offers more advanced charting than some of these other apps. If you're a newer investor, Weeble may not actually be a good fit because of their advanced stock trading tools. But if you have some experience and you're looking for a nice mobile app, then Weeble may be a good option for you. Here are some reasons why we like it. It comes with low costs for stock trades. It's a user-friendly and easy-to-use trading platform as long as you have some existing experience. It has unlimited access to advanced trading tools, and it allows you to access some cryptocurrencies. Who is Weeble best for? So Weeble was not actually designed to be very beginner-friendly. It's better suited for experienced options traders, crypto traders, or just active traders. I would say that intermediate investors can also find this platform to be a good fit. For pricing, Weeble comes with free trading trades on options, stocks, and best of all, it has no account minimums and investors aren't charged per contract fees. Number 14 is Moomoo. So Moomoo actually kind of took over the market a little bit from Weeble. Moomoo is an advanced brokerage firm that comes with commission-free trading for options, ETFs, and stocks. It has a basic mobile and desktop trading platform with similar features to most top brokers. Here's why we like Moomoo. Number one, they have a fun name, but they have zero commission fees for stocks, ETFs, and options trades. There's no account minimums for getting started on Moomoo. It comes with a range of analytical tools and robust search materials. It has an advanced and highly customizable trading platform, and it allows free paper trading as well. Who is this app best for? So Moomoo is going to be a great option for advanced or active traders who are looking for more sophisticated tools than apps like Robinhood can offer. It's also a good option for beginner investors investors who want to dive in and learn more about stock trading. For pricing with the Moomoo trading platform, there are no minimum deposit requirements, no inactivity fees or platform fees, but you should be watchful of other hidden fees, including international wire fees, stock transfer fees, etc. Overall, expect commission-free ETF options and stock trades. Now we'll move into talking about some of these crossover platforms as I've called them. So these are going to be apps that offer the option of you picking your own stocks or by choosing their portfolios or different funds that they've put together for you. First is M1 Finance. M1 Finance is a fusion between a robo-advisor and a broker, which basically allows you to automate the whole trading process, but also choose to invest in whatever you want. This investing platform comes with a variety of investing tools that really make it easy to view your investments and understand the 
breakdown of your portfolio. Here are some of the reasons why we like this platform. This investing platform allows you to create an automatic investing plan and allows you to be completely hands off. At the same time, it allows you to choose what you want to invest in and you can buy fractional shares to help with investing your money more easily. It gives you the flexibility to design your own trading portfolio. It also gives you the ability to use some of their pre-made portfolio pies to get started investing if you aren't really sure what you want to invest in. M1 Finance is really trying to become an all-in-one app, so they do also have options for taking out loans or creating a bank account. More recently, they also released their own credit card. Who is this app best for? So I think that this app is perfect for beginners or for anyone who wants to do hands-off investing or to automate their investments. They have an extremely user-friendly mobile app that makes it easy for you to understand what's actually in your portfolio and what's happening with your investments. So if you're looking to have all of that organized in one place, then M1 Finance is probably a good option for you. Now let's talk about pricing. So to get started on M1, you're going to have a $100 account minimum for regular self-directed investing accounts or a $500 minimum for retirement accounts. After that, you can fund your M1 account with as little as $10 at a time. Number 16 is SoFi. The SoFi trading platform is designed with young investors in mind and more specifically those who are looking to get a head start on investing. SoFi allows commission-free investing and best of all, there's no minimum requirement to create an account, making it attractive to newer and beginner investors. If you're saving for retirement, you may want to look at other options since SoFi has limited investment choices like no mutual funds and another drawback is that it doesn't support options trades. However, the following are some reasons that we like the platform. It comes with free financial advice and counseling. It has no account minimum requirement. You get unlimited access to fractional shares. You can trade cryptocurrencies and SoFi supports commission-free ETF and stock trades. Who is SoFi best for? SoFi is going to be best for stock investors and ETF investors. Also, if you're into crypto or you want the option to buy fractional shares, then SoFi may also be a good option for these. As far as pricing goes, although SoFi does not have an account minimum, you'll be required to pay an outgoing transfer fee of $75. Other than that, this trading platform has no annual or inactivity fee. Number 17 is Ally Invest. If you're looking for a solid investing platform, Ally Invest might be a great fit for your investing needs. This trading platform comes with low account minimums, low trading costs, and commission-free stocks and ETF trades. However, when it comes to options trades, Ally Invest charges 50 cents per contract fee. Here's why we like this platform. Like other brokers, it provides fundamental and technical trading tools. It provides specialized options analysis tools such as dynamic profitability graphs, probability calculators, etc., which a lot of other online brokers actually lack. And Ally Invest has a solid functionality both online and on its mobile app. There's also no account minimums for self-directed DIY accounts. They also give you the option to have a managed account. Who is this platform best for? Ally Invest comes in handy for investors of all experience levels. Overall, it's a great platform both for beginners and for experienced investors, as well as active traders. For pricing, Ally Invest has competitive costs, including zero commissions for trading ETFs and stocks. However, they do charge a flat 50 cents per contract fee for options trading. The platform also offers mutual funds at $9.95 per no load mutual fund trade. For a managed account, the account minimum is going to be $100, but for self-directed accounts, there is no minimum balance required. Now for a couple of robo-advisor platforms. Number 18, and the first of our robo-advisors, is Betterment. Betterment is a robust standalone robo-advisor that boasts incredibly low prices and about $32 billion in assets under management. This brokerage firm allows low-fee investing packages for new investors and advanced investors, as well as comprehensive financial planning. The only downside is that you must create an account before viewing your specific investor portfolio. One other thing to mention is that you need $100,000 to access the 
Betterment Premium Plan, which is really best for certified financial planners. Here's why we like the platform. It allows you to set multiple goals and track your investing progress. There's no minimum investing amount required, and it gives investors the ability to invest in crypto portfolios alongside their regular investing portfolios. Who is this platform best for? Betterment is specifically designed for beginner investors and for investors that would like to have their investments managed. For pricing, Betterment offers transparent commissions and fees. For example, their premium plan charges 0.4% of assets under management and requires a minimum of $100,000. The digital plan offers 0.25% annually for assets under management with an entry point requirement of zero minimum dollars. Number 19, our other robo-advisor is Wealthfront. Compared with other robo-advisors, Wealthfront is a force to reckon with. It comes with a solid tax optimization service, free balance management, which applies for under $5,000, and a 0.25% management fee. With Wealthfront, you can access great planning tools, diverse investments, and tax-free saving strategies, all at a relatively low cost. Here's why we like it. You gain access to low ETF expense ratios. You can improve your investing returns through daily tax loss harvesting, and they have automatic rebalancing of your portfolio without your involvement. Who is this platform best for? Wealthfront is going to be best for hands-off investors. Let's talk about pricing for Wealthfront. So to open an account, Wealthfront will require a minimum amount of $500 to open an investment account. Wealthfront also comes with a referral program and you'll get an additional $5,000 managed for free whenever you refer someone to the platform and they fund their investment account. The friend that you invite will also get $5,000 managed for free. Now for the super beginner apps. So the first on this list, but number 20 on our overall list is Acorns. If you want to slowly learn how to save and invest, or maybe teach your teenager or child how to do the same, then Acorns may be a good option. This platform allows investors to quickly accumulate and grow their pennies by investing your spare change and earning cash back rewards for it. One downside of this platform that I will mention before we get into why we like it is that if you are investing with a very small amount, then their monthly fee of $3 or $5 doesn't really make sense. With a small amount of money invested, that fee is going to eat away at your investment returns. So why do we like it? It invests your spare change and can be a good introduction to setting aside money to invest or save. You also get access to a library of educational content that they have, and you can redeem your cash back from the app at select retailers. Who is this app best for? I would say that this app is honestly best for high school or college students who are just learning how to save and invest. It's useful for new investors looking to learn the benefits of investing and saving, and you can earn cash back rewards from it. As far as their pricing goes, there's no minimum amount required to open an Acorns account. However, you will be charged for using the service. If you need a taxable brokerage account, you'll need to pay at least $3 every month for the account. The amount may seem insignificant, but paying $3 to $5 a month if you don't have much invested, like I said earlier, can really eat into the returns that you're getting on those investments. Number 21 is Cash App. Cash App is among the few online peer-to-peer -peer payment platforms that actually also allows you to invest. With Cash App, you are going to be limited to stocks and cryptocurrencies. If you need a platform that offers mutual funds, options, options, trades, or other investments, then Cash App is probably not going to be a good option for you. It's pretty basic and doesn't come with any of these additional features. But here's why we like it. Cash App won't charge you a commission fee for making trades. It's one of the simplest and easiest platforms to sign up for and get started. It's great for individuals who want fractional share investing, and they do have multiple cash management features. Who is Cash App best for? It's going to be best for beginner investors and those looking to buy fractional shares. Because of those fractional shares that it offers, it does open up the possibility of investing for those who don't have as much money available to set aside. It also has no commission fees, which makes it a super easy platform to 
start with for those who are wanting to just jump in and try investing. For pricing, Cash App is a completely commission-free app because it does not offer things like mutual funds, options, or other investment products that usually do incur a fee. The only fees that you might possibly pay are using functions within the platform, such as depositing cash to a bank account or sending cash to someone's credit card. These aren't necessarily directly related to your investing, but I thought it was worth mentioning them anyways. Number 22 is Stash. For beginner investing needs, Stash may come in as a handy platform. It has no minimum account requirement and only charges $1 to $9 every month, depending on the services or account types that you have. You can think of Stash as a beginner kind of hand-holding platform as you begin to get more comfortable investing in stocks and ETFs. You can automate how much money goes into your Stash account every month, but for those who are looking for a fully automated or fully managed platform, this probably is not going to be the right option. But here's why we like it. It does offer some automated options, but is mostly a DIY investing platform. It allows you to purchase fractional shares, and the platform offers value-based investment offerings. Who is Stash best for? Stash is going to be best for beginner investors looking for an option to buy fractional shares, although it is worth mentioning that most of the features that Stash has can be found on other free platforms. For their pricing, for a minimum of $5, you can start investing on Stash. So as long as you have $5 to start, you can access the platform. The platform charges an account management fee of $3 every month for automated investing. As always, do double check the information in this video before choosing one brokerage over another because the information, especially with fees and pricing and account types, can and will change and it can change rapidly. So with that said, I will leave links to all of these brokerages in the description and in the pinned comment. If you've had positive or negative experiences with any of these, or if you feel like there are any other brokerages that I should have mentioned, feel free to leave a comment and I will see you guys next time.